Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of Theodoro, where we are doing a pretty good job of converting things to the one true faith, orthodoxy, of course. We have two vassals, Ostrakhan and Circassia. Circassia. And I think the first thing we're going to do is annex Circassia. Well, the first guy we're going to annex is Circassia. Ostrakhan, we have some lands to feed. He's got cores all over here. So I'd like to feed him those lands, and we can use him to feed some land from Nogai as well. Uh, it's the same culture group, which means it won't really... Let me see the culture group. Culture group. It's the same culture group, so he'll definitely buy them. The problem is finding a way to get into war with Nogai without fighting the Timurids. We'll have to be very creative, won't we? I also need to find a way to fight the Golden Horde without fighting Uzbek. Because Uzbek has 40,000 guys. I can't really fight that. The other option is maybe we can get an alliance with Muscovy. If we can get our alliance back with Muscovy, then, um, you know... Pounding those guys wouldn't be quite as difficult. What are our midterm goals? Midterm goals would be to uh, secure a lot of this region over here. Try to press as much trade forward from Samarkand to Ostrakhan to our capital in Crimea. And if we can secure a decent amount of income, even push... No, Persia doesn't come up. Why doesn't Persia go north? I don't know. It looks like it goes north and then it has an abrupt turn. Uh, securing as much income as we can from these inland trade nodes would be absolutely fantastic. And then I would like to push into the Ottomans. That would be my uh, long-term goal, would be to push into the Ottomans. But I don't know how easy or difficult that's going to be. Obviously, at the moment, it's very, 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 very difficult. Uh, but for now, it's just sort of a pipe dream, right? All about the pipe dream. And the Ottomans full annexed to Serbia. Goodbye, Serbia. Goodbye, Serbia. Long live Serbia. Long live Serbia! They're gone. They're gone. I am cry. Well, maybe we can get an alliance with the Ottomans. <laughs> maybe. Oh, we also need to embargo uh, the Golden Horde. I forgot about that. But yeah, our truce has run out. So we can embargo them now. Let's do it. Take that stupid Golden Horde. Dum dum. You numpty. You poopy head. And look at this. All these rebel factions are disappearing. Uh, the more provinces that we convert to the right religion uh, means we're getting rid of all the revolt risk. They don't want to rebel because they like being our orthodox buddy. All right? When we first... Ah, we improved relations. Good. We finished a mission. Uh, religious unity. That's going to happen at some point. Placate the Ottomans and protect our... Breath. No, none of these guys are going to happen anytime soon. Can the Uzbek even get here? Yes. They can walk through Muscovy or they can walk through Noge. They can definitely get here. Right now they don't have any access. Uh, right now they have Noge as a rival, but they do not have Muscovy as a rival. So, you know, they'll, do, they'll find their way. And if they can't get through uh, Noge, they can just go through the Timurids. And believe me, they'll find a way to get here. I get what you're saying. They may not be the, as threatening as I'm making them out to be. You're right. They may not be. But why run the risk of having to fight 40,000 guys when you just simply don't have to? You can just go somewhere else or do something else, right? But if we can get Muscovy back, take me back, Muscovy. I'll be your best friend. Take me back. Take me back. Oh, why won't you take me back? He just doesn't trust me anymore. Trust, negative 10. Jesus. You can't hate me, Muscovy. It's not fair. I'm going to recruit another dirt. We are two under our limit. Oh no, we lost our marriage with Poland. Uh-oh. Here you go. Poland's got some rebels. Nah, he's fine. Guarantee him? Yeah, but the thing is, the guarantee is only 10 relations. It's not really going to impact that much. Now, if we had a statesman, it would help quite a bit. But we can't really afford a statesman at the moment. Uh, we're currently playing, paying an inflation reduction guy, which is very, very worth it. Because our inflation is out of control. We had two events that increased our inflation by three each. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> ah, tech up time. Oh, sh we're actually ahead of tech. That's amazing. That's amazing. So we'll hold off. We can hold up uh, two, yeah, 1,200 points. So we won't tech up until we're closer to 1,200. All right, get over there. Okay. 
Yeah, the trust with Russia is getting better, but it's still pretty bad. Actually, I think I will just keep improving relations with Circassia. We can just go straight up and next him. I mean, the, at this point, what I think I'm going to do is just annex Circassia, go to war with Georgia, annex Georgia, go to war with all these guys and vassalize all these guys. Armenia, uh, Gazimaku, I might not, I might just annex him. And Shervan, I might just annex him. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, I would like to eat all of these little minor states down here. And if possible, I'd like to go to war with QQ and make him release Persia. Or maybe I can take a province, like if I take Artabil, then I can release Persia on my own, right? And then we can feed Persia. That'd be so good. It'd be so good. It would. It would be good. It would be good. It's truth. The truth hurts. But yeah, trust is getting better. Negative nine. Every couple years it goes, it, it gets a little bit better. But it does take a long time for trust to be earned again, right? You gotta sit down there. You gotta buy him some coffee. Take him to a movie. Fuck, it's hard to get trust back, man. Can I peacefully make the small nation east of Circassia my vassal? Nope. All these guys are the wrong religion. So, no. You want to see the culture map? Sure. There's the culture map. Production research flawed. Lose prestige. Okay. Turkish and Azerbaijani are the same culture group. Greek and Gothic are the same culture group. Uh, Georgian, Circassian, and Dagestani and Armenian are the same culture group. And then Egyptian, Syrian, and Mashriki are the same culture group. That's our local area. And then Kurdish and Persian are the same culture group. Oh, Muscovy. We could be the best of friends. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. Why, you stupid monkey. Wow. To convert Crimea is going to take 333 months. Uh, because it's a base 8 tax. Yeah, I could understand that. That's okay. We're still going to do it. Not going to do it, damn it. No, we're going to do it. Totally going to do it. Yeah, Mashriki is in Iraq. With their uh, core for Iraq. Iraq is the primary nation of Mashriki and will never lose the core. Unless they get culture converted. If you get culture converted, you lose the core. I wish you didn't. I wish culture converting did not make the core go away. But it does. Yes, yes, proclaim guarantee on, on Muscovy. But that won't really be enough to get him as, a, as an ally. It just won't. We're so far behind. Getting 10 relations is not the same as getting 10 at the diplomatic table when you discuss things. When you discuss alliances or marriages or whatever, that's different than 10 relations. France declared war on Brittany. Uh-oh. 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 No guy has declared war on me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, fund the army. Whoop. Muscovy, are you sure you don't want an alliance? Are you sure? All right, slow down time. Uh-oh. All right, put my troops or my vassals on uh, supportive mode. Try not to get squashed right away. I am two techs ahead of this guy, which is great, but my vassals are also shit tech. Georgia's got shit tech. Uh, Poland's in the war, which is fine, and he's not distracted, so maybe he'll... Uh, maybe he can get access through the Golden Horde? Can you get access through the Golden Horde? He doesn't have it yet, but if he does, then he can help as well. Oh, no, he can just walk through my lands. That's fine. All right, no guy. Please don't call in the Tim. If he calls in the Timurids, I'm just going to cry. That's his only ally. Please don't call in the Timurids. Don't do it. Do 
Georgia is not helping. I'm gonna go stand in Georgia, because this is all mountains. Oh god. Oh god, Timurids are in the war. Uh, okay, time to curl up into the fetal. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Why are my vassals not... Why is Circassia not following me? I have the check mark. Do I need to do a save and a reload? I have the check mark turned on, and I have this set to supportive, so he should be following my army. I walked right through him like butter. He didn't even follow me. And George is not even moving. Is Poland moving? No, Poland's not moving either. Oh, no. Look at this. You can tell it's time for a save and a reload. You can tell because the troops are... They're building. They're, they're being recruited, but they're not grouping up. They're not merging. And uh, the armies are not moving. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, we're going to have to do a save and a reload. Save. Stupid. It's one of the most annoying bugs in 1.8 when this happens. Oh, and the game crashed. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's get the game loaded. Surprised it crashed when I went back to the main screen. That's weird. Meh, whatever. Okay, so that should cause, uh, that should cause Circassia to follow me, I think, and it should cause Poland to start moving his army, and it should cause Lithuania to group these guys up. Yes, okay, so all I had to do was save and reload, and all of a sudden, everybody's doing stuff again. God, that's so freaky how they just, like, not the, everything is, it, it's broken. Uh, let me try picking him up again. Come back. This is just no guy. No guy's got 27,000 troops. And there goes my vassal's army. This is just no guy. And then you have the Timurids who will come as well. Good news is we're almost done converting all of our lands to the one true faith. Bad news is there may not be any land left. We'll see what happens. And yes, the check mark is still not working. Check mark on. Walk right through my vassal's army. He's like, duh, I don't see a check mark. And every time you load the save, it gets rid of your vassal settings. Because you saw right before the crash that this was set on supportive. We had. Whatever. Anyway, the settings don't matter really. They're just all broken. It's just decoration. They don't really actually do anything, right? Making buttons do things would be hard. I think I'll sit in Imareti. We'll sit right next to his stack. These are all mountains here, so any uh, attack against us would be pretty good for our defense. And there goes Mansur. Crimea! Alright, where's Mansur? Right there. So how's the unrest here, Mansur? Mansur? Have to wait to the end of the month to check it out. Eight, nine, thirty-one. Pause. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. As long as it's below negative ten, you can hit the uh, lower autonomy button, and you won't have any negative effects. So the hope is Poland will actually come over and do something, but for the most part, he seems content to stay home. That's fine, I guess. I mean, I can totally handle... Oh, God, here comes the Timurids. I can totally handle this war on my own. Why is the check mark not working? What's the point of having the check mark if it doesn't work? Also, let's go ahead and tech up. And let's get uh, a general. Hey, 1-5. I like it. Uh, why is my check mark not working? All right, there we go. Now the check mark's working. Okay, I don't know what the problem was, but now it's working. Oh God. 
Here comes the big stacks. Oh, man. Tabaristan. So it's not even just the Timurids. The Timurids apparently have vassals. Yep. The Timurids have Chugatai and Tabaristan as vassals. Oh, my fucking God. Where the hell is Tabaristan? Oh, that's this guy. This guy is a Timurid vassal. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Hey, Poland, sure could use your assistance. Please. All right, Yiddish school has converted. Keep an eye on the uh, unrest there. Oh my fucking god. And unfortunately the supply limit here is garbage, so we can't actually stand everyone here without attrition. But if I turn the check mark off, everyone's just gonna run off and get crushed. So I kind of have to leave the check mark on and just accept all the attrition that we get, which really, really sucks. I hate to do that. Yeah, cool. Go ahead and lower the autonomy. Good, good. No, there. Twitch chat is saying, Shen, I think the vassals and allies in the war won't go to your army if the supply them in the province is too low for both armies. Well, that is definitely not true. Because here we are in a province with a supply limit of 24. We already have 24 troops there, and they're coming over to us anyway. So it has no bearing on it at all. They don't care. And we're going to take attrition, aren't we? Yep, now we're taking attrition. Poland. Ah, here we go. Poland's coming. All right, so Lithuania has... 50,000 troops. Poland's got 45,000 troops. Bring it on. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Yes, Poland has access. Anytime you're at war together, you have access. And the war is this, which allow you can see there's a path. So there's definitely access for everyone. If you're allied in a war, then you have access uh, through everyone on your on both sides, really, in the war. All right, so hopefully he comes and attacks me here. We outnumber him. Let me back off. All right, let's see if he attacks me here. This could be good. I got my five shock general. I'll defend. Let's see what happens. Here comes Poland. The war is for the province of Ostrakhan. Okay. I'm gonna keep an eye on Muscovy. I would love to get you in this, into this war, Muscovy, but he doesn't seem interested. God, I wish we could get you in this war. Set an objective. Uh, I kind of want them to get their troops down here first. I don't want to set an objective and then have them, you know, go random places. I don't want them to wander off into No Guy Land first. I want them to actually come down here and help fighting first. How's your tech, Timurids? Because I'm tech 8. Poland is uh, tech 7. Timurids are tech 5. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Chugtai, tech 5. Tech 6. Alright, so I feel a little better. Their tech is a little backwards. Oh, the Chugtai have a new flag. The, the old Chugtai flag was what? Just black and red? This one's like yellow with a dollar sign on it. No, it's not a dollar sign. It's some weird... Like, it's hard to see. White and yellow. Hard to see. Oh my god, that's a giant stack. I hope you guys are actually going to do something with that stack. Nobody wants to attack into the mountains. I know. I get it. But... Oh, shit. Poland, are you kidding me? Oh, he's not in the mountains. Okay, I'll help. As long as we're not in the mountains, it's fine. Unfortunately, my vassal is taking leadership. I don't know why the guy with the most tech doesn't automatically take leadership. I have the most tech, therefore I should be leading the army. But it doesn't switch to me. 
it should be automatic. Because that means we would have more tactics, more morale, more everything. But it doesn't do that. And here comes more troops. We're going to have to back off of this battle. Rolling zeros does not help. Oh my god, this is a big battle. Wow. I wonder how much war score this is going to be worth. Four war score. Really? Four war score? That's a nice... I love this... I love this battle report screen. That's only worth four war score. Okay, game. All right, check mark on. We're going to go unsiege Ostracon real quick. It's only worth four war score. Oh, no. On this screen, it says it's worth 7.5 war score. Weird. Alright, kick some Timurid butthole. And now that Poland's here, I think we're okay. That wasn't even a defensive battle and we still won. It makes me feel really good about our chances here. Now I'll go to I'll go to Orda. These are all base one, these are all terrible provinces. Three, two, one, two. Yeah, they're all pretty worthless. But the more I can give to Ostrakhan, the better. Okay. You sure you don't want in the war, Muscovy? No, he doesn't want in the war. Damn it, Muscovy. One thing that really sucks about this war is any time we try to press into their lands, we're going to be going into the fog of war, which is going to take a long time to get there. So it's going to be real tough to actually follow any armies. Oh, and look, another bad event. Disorder. Lose stability. Goody. I love losing stability. That first battle was huge. That was just a ridiculously large battle. Religious unity will be in a long time. Oh, we're not actually converting. To Yeah, so since our stability has fallen to plus one... We don't actually have the strength to convert anymore. Ah, oh, well. So be it. So this is the dangerous place here. Because I can't see what's going on. I think some of my... I think some of the allied armies are in the fog here. I can't see them. So I can't help them. Okay, defensive battle in Ostrakhan. That's good. I should probably send my general down there. I will. I'll just send like half the stack. Yeah. Oh, I thought I could directly walk there. I can't. Whoops. I should still get there in time, I think. Uh-oh. All right, I'll go this way. Defend from the Tim Tims. Uh oh. The Golden Horde has declared war. Uh oh. Ah, oh, darn it. Does that mean Uzbek is in the war? Uzbek is not in the war yet. Uh oh. Alright, I'll finish this one siege, and then we're going to have to go back. 
Oh man, Poland's in the war. Not good, man. Not good. Oh man, this battle. This war is just getting bigger and bigger. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and Uzbek will just stay out of the war entirely. That'd be great. You sure you don't want in the war, Muscovy? No? Okay. Fair enough. I'm tempted to cancel. I think I will. I'm going to cancel the missionary here just to lower the revolt risk. Let's avoid too many rebels. Also, I might be able to piece out the Tim Tims. If they lose a couple of these battles here, the Tim Tims might just want out of the war. And I would love that. Get them out individually. Uh, he's currently not interested, but every battle he loses, which is considerable. Oh god, Poland wants help against the Ottomans. Oh my fucking... Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. What can we even do in this? I don't think we can do anything here. We can't fight the Ottomans. Oh, my God. I think we break our alliance with Poland over this. I can't fight the Ottomans here. I just can't. I just can't. The Ottomans have 92,000. No, I'm just... Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Poland. I'm just going to leave this down there. It's going to auto-decline. Oh my goodness. Austria has joined on Poland's side. Yeah, but Austria is currently losing a war to France. And Venice. So if Austria is losing wars to France and Venice... What the fuck is Lithuania doing in Siena? If Austria is losing wars to France and Venice, there is not much he can do against the Ottomans with 92,000 troops. Just stating the facts, yo. Stating the facts. Oh my god, Kazan has 25,000 troops. Are you kidding me? How does Kazan have 25,000 troops? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. The AI figured out how to handle Shen? Yeah. Everyone in the AI just declare war all at once. That's what you do. It works. Okay, well, no guy wants peace. Do I want to peace out? No guy. Uh, I should see if I can steal something. If I could siege one province, this one, Orda, if I could steal one province and peace out, I'd be happy. And then we could focus on the Golden Horde. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so bad for Poland. We dishonored our alliance. I'm so sorry, Poland. I couldn't. I didn't have it in me. Oh shit, we're getting attacked. Oh no, he changed his mind. Interesting. Oh my god. Nope, we're getting attacked. Nope, he changed his mind again. Yay, Orda! Alright, let me give that to Ostrakhan. There you go. Done. And can I make you break your alliance with the Timurids? I cannot. Ah, oh, but we're so close. What if we wait like one month? Uh, let me run... Do I want to run to Saratov? Turn on the check mark? Yeah, let's run to Saratov and turn on the check mark. Uh, and if we can get out of this war at the end of the month here. Can I get you guys out individually? Please? No, not even close. All right, so 
We can only peace out the war leader then, that's fine. Ah, 48 out of 48. Oh shit, don't, I don't want you to lose too much manpower on this battle though. Don't lose your manpower on the battle, dude. Nah, it's okay, they're gonna win. All right, 24 war score should go up to like 25, 26, 28, perfect. Done and done. Actually, can I get the Tim Tims out? Please, Tim Tims. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, okay, so no guy first, done. And get rid of your alliance with the Tim Tims. Okay. I wish I could also ask for war reparations, but that's just a little too much war score. Okay, done. Done, done, done. So no guy has lost his alliance with the Tim Tims. Good. Ah, oh, phew. I'm so sorry, Poland. I couldn't join your war. I just couldn't. There was nothing I could do about that war. Oof. And Muscovy would take an alliance right now if I wasn't at war. So as soon as this war is over, we can get our alliance back with Muscovy. Good. And unfortunately, all of Poland and Lithuania are black flagged now, and they have to run away. Ugh. They're gonna have to run all the way back. And then they're probably just gonna all die to Ottomans. Ugh. I'm so sorry, Poland. Oh, Ostrakhan. All right, well, what can we do? Can we get someone else in this war? Can we get, I mean, he would if we weren't at war. Ottomans, no. Oh, QQ is eating Armenia. Interesting, but not Botan, okay. So Armenia is gonna be gone. Oh well, GG. Yeah, if uh, Lithuania becomes independent, we could make him lose all of the um, minor nations in here. There are a bunch of cores to spit out. Chernigov, Kiev, Polotsk, Smolensk. There's a lot of little guys to spit out in Lithuania. He even has Crimean cores. We could make him spit out Crimea or Zaporozhye. It's all possible. Anything's possible with your imagination. Oh no, Barissa Glebsk. The Golden Horde Conquest of Theodoro. He has a claim on Theodoro? No. Conquest of Theodoro. Oh, it's for battles. And he's won enough battles, so he's getting taking war score. Gotcha. I'm like, how did you get a claim on my capital? That's not that kind of war. He's a horde, so he gets special CBs where you have to worry... You have to, uh... Uh, what is it called? Show superiority, that's what it's called. Well, I'm going to use my five shock general to try to whoop some of these clowns. But it's going to be tough because we're outnumbered, you know, three to one over here. I really wish this fucking siege would finish, but so far no dice. Oh my goodness. So even this, where it's 13,000 against 1,000, where they just die instantly, it's still worth 3.3 .3 war score. That's pretty crazy. All right, there goes his capital, finally. Now this guy has no general. I would like to fight him if I could. Unfortunately, I am trapped up here. I can't really go anywhere. Should I give this a shot? 29th. Ah, what's your tech, Golden Horde? Tech 5. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Tech 5, pretty good for me. I'm tech 8. Oh, shit, he beat me. So, what if we stay here? 
Change your mind? Okay. All right, good, 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 good. Now we'll go there and we'll unsiege it real quick. Just hit the button. Yeah. But we're three techs ahead of this guy. I'm just afraid to attack against gigantic numbers, you know? Oh, we embarrassed the court. Time to lose stability, everybody. It's your favorite event. Lose stability. Woo! Yeah. I love losing stability. I do love losing stability. It is the best. You've heard of I Love Lucy? Well, I love losing stability. All right, let's go kill this army down here. This army that has no general. Quick. Ooh, can we get there to help? On the defense, maybe? Could we please? Looks like the answer is no, but we'll try anyway. We might get there. Nah, he's gonna be over. No, we got there. We made it. Alright. And he did get a general, by the way. He got a 3-2. Okay. Since it's Kazan's army, he's probably retreating back to Kazan. That's going to be a long trek. And Georgia's not following me for some reason. I wish he would follow me, Georgia. Now he's following me. So we'll go unsiege Barissa Glebsk. And hopefully this war with the Ottomans will be over soon. I mean, the Ottomans are crushed. Oh, there's only a plus four, actually. Look at this. 17 Ottomans versus 53 Austria, Lithuania, and Poland. 17 versus 53. And believe it or not, the 17 is winning by a lot. Wow. An OP. Ottoman strunk. Bohemia is the emperor. What happened, Austria? Are you the wrong gender? Oh, Austria has an interregma, interregnum. Do you want a marriage? Oh, I should really try to get a marriage over there. Look at that. Interregnum for Austria. And that means he lost his personal union over Hungary. Oh, because he's at negative 87 prestige. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, we'll try to pick up this army here. Please. Oh shit, he's got rebels. I see. I see. And Armenia became a vassal of QQ. Alright, well I was hoping to do that, but oh well. Anyway, we're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Chen. You've been you. Come back next time for further ventures in the lands of Theodora. We have successfully defended against the Timurids and Nogai. However, we have lost our alliance with Muscovy. We lost our alliance with Poland. And neither of them want it back. Unfortunate. But them's the breaks. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.